Hi guys, welcome back to ESP.NET MVC tutorial. I'm Ashish. So this is part 35 of this video series. Before proceeding, please watch part 32, 33 and 34 because all these three videos are in sequence and are connected to each other. Okay, and also I'm going to use that example which I have used in previous three videos. Okay, so now in this tutorial I'm gonna discuss about how can you download an image from URL and save it to the SQL server using jQuery in ASP.NET MVC okay so before starting do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed so let's get it started so here in the previous tutorial I have created this example to upload my image file to SQL server okay so let's have the view of it so when I choose an image I can have the preview of it and I can upload it so uploaded file will be displayed here so this image is coming from the database okay let's try to upload another one let's try to upload this guitar okay so now let's complete our today's objective so our target is to upload uh, download file from uh, URL so first of all we just need a text box so input type equal to text okay and I give a class form control and uh, give an ID that is URL okay and just cut it and paste it here second thing you just need a button okay so take an anchor href equal to hash and uh, give a class btn space btn primary space let's take btn block and save image by URL okay and uh, just write here on click on click I'll just call this method okay upload image method okay so I'm just calling the same method and on click image okay and here is my ID let's save it and let's try to reload it okay so here is your text box and here is your button and now let's try to add a loader so here is loading image so okay give a high height equal to let's say 20 and width equal to 20 and let's add a style should be equal to display colon none okay so let's remove it and let's check out where I have added because when when I put the URL into this text box and just save it, it this loader will be shown okay so control Z and save it okay and give an ID so id equal to loader okay and uh, just copy this url copy and just pass here give a fair url equal to dollar 
hash this URL dot value okay so I am just getting that URL here and copy now pass one more parameter that is this URL should be equal to URL and let's say image URL okay so I have passed this parameter URL and now move to your product view model and let's just stop that and add one more property let's say just copy that press control and drag it here and paste okay so image URLs I have already taken okay and uh, you just go to the controller and now here I'll just retrieve the URL okay so if file is not null means uh, uh, I have not choose I have not chosen from the uh, input type of file so I'll just check if model dot image URL is not equal to null okay then perform action okay so I'll just create a method to download my image file okay so let's copy this method paste it here just delete everything and return byte byte array okay and uh, download image okay and pass a string URL string URL okay so I'll just provide the URL string and let's declare where web client equal to new web client okay just right click just and resolve that system dot net and here I'll just declare byte array image byte image bytes equal to web client dot download data and if you if you see here it requires the URI address so I'll just pass this URL okay and it will just download uh, the image and get the byte okay and I'll just return it return that byte from here and I'll just call this method from here okay so download image and pass this model dot URL okay and uh, here I just got the image byte so image byte should be equal to this okay okay and uh, here you just need to copy this to save your data or else you can write a common method to save your data otherwise same code will be written in same method so that would not be recommended but for the for the time being I'm using the same code here to upload my image to SQL server okay so now I just got the byte 
here and the image path so I'll just having I just have this model dot URL okay so I'll just replace this okay and uh, finally I'll just return the image ID okay so if I don't select the file then this method is not going to be called Th sorry this uh, this uh, uh, the control will not come into this if condition and here I have just checked the model dot URL is not equal to null then this method this will and uh, this will be going to execute okay so let's put a breakpoint here and also put a big breakpoint here okay now save that now let's try to run this and let's see what's gonna happen here okay so here you go and uh, if you notice that I have my image file so if you want to just pass any image URL just right click on that and just copy the image address okay just copy that and paste it into, to, into your URL and just reload that okay so copy that URL and you just need to paste it here okay so first of all I just need to handle this okay so f contain display none loader control save and when I call this function then I'll just show this loader hash this dot show and when a check call is completed then I'll just hide this okay now let's try to reload this okay so just copy that and paste your URL and okay so when I click on this image button loader will be shown as you can see here and here is my control and I just got the URL here in image URL now press function F10 okay right and file is null okay so it's just came to this and function f10 and here it will call this download image method so here it comes and uh, here I have passed this URL and it will start the downloading okay so here I got the image byte okay and function f10 and this byte will be saved here okay so I just missed the file name okay so for the time being let's pass any file name let's say ABC okay so when you are having the uh, uh, when you start downloading your data th through URL you just you don't need this okay so image name image byte image path is deleted and image rows now continue this now again try to download that 
I'll just copy this so here you go and now now function f10 so it's going to this downloading file and the file has been downloaded and here you can see the byte and I'm just returning the byte function f10 and I just got the byte here and it has been saved into database and save changes okay and it has returned the ID function f10 so I just got ID 13 okay now f10 return that ID and continue this okay now I can see this image okay now let's try to add another image let's see bootstrap part 3 it's pretty small and it will take so copy the image address and directly pass into select all paste here and save okay now remove the breakpoint and just continue that okay so file has been downloaded and displayed here okay now let's try to download another image let's try to download this ESP.NET MVC tutorial okay now copy the image address and select all and paste it here and save okay so your downloaded image will be displayed here okay so this is all about downloading the image from URL and saving it to the SQL server okay so I'm done here thank you very much for watching my tutorial if you like it then give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to share it among your friends and uh, keep learning and sharing okay so thank you very much have a great day